stress. We all experience it. It's that feeling of pressure we get when faced with challenges. But what exactly is stress? Stress is our body's natural response to any demand. It can be triggered by a wide range of situations, from a looming deadline at work to a joyous occasion like a wedding. Not all stress is bad. In fact, short-term stress, known as eustress, can be beneficial. It provides the motivation and focus we need to perform well under pressure. Think of the surge of energy you feel before giving a presentation. However, when stress becomes chronic, it transforms into distress. This is the type of stress that wreaks havoc on our physical and mental well-being. Distress lingers long after the triggering event is past, leading to a cascade of negative effects on the body and mind. Understanding the difference between eustress and distress is crucial for managing stress effectively. By recognizing the signs of distress, we can take steps to prevent it from becoming a chronic issue. When we encounter a stressful situation, our brain takes charge, orchestrating a complex chain reaction. This response starts in the amygdala, the brain's emotional processing center. The amygdala acts as a threat detector rapidly assessing whether a situation is dangerous. If the amygdala senses danger, it sends an urgent message to the hypothalamus, the command center of the stress response system. The hypothalamus then activates the sympathetic nervous system, triggering the release of hormones like adrenaline and noradrenaline. These hormones prepare the body for action the hypothalamus also signals the pituitary gland to release another hormone called cortisol. Cortisol is often referred to as the stress hormone because it plays a crucial role in the body's stress response. It provides a surge of energy, sharpens focus, and even temporarily suppresses pain. While these hormonal changes are beneficial in the short term, Prolonged exposure to high levels of cortisol can have detrimental effects on various bodily systems, increasing the risk of health problems. The release of adrenaline, noradrenaline, and cortisol triggers a cascade of physical changes, preparing the body to confront the perceived threat. This physiological response is known as the fight or flight response our heart rate and blood pressure increase, sending more oxygen and energy to our muscles. Breathing becomes rapid and shallow, providing extra oxygen to the bloodstream. Our senses sharpen, making us more alert to our surroundings. Blood sugar levels rise, providing a quick source of energy. Digestion slows down as blood flow is redirected from the digestive system to the muscles. While the fight-or-flight response is essential for survival in dangerous situations, it can be counterproductive in modern life, where we often face stressors that don't require a physical response. In some cases, instead of fight-or-flight, we may experience a freeze response. This involves feeling paralyzed or unable to move or speak. The freeze response is thought to be a survival mechanism that kicks in when fighting or fleeing seems impossible. Section 4. Chronic Stress. A Recipe for Trouble. When stress becomes a chronic condition, the constant activation of the stress response takes a toll on our physical and mental health. Prolonged exposure to cortisol can disrupt almost every system in the body, increasing the risk of a wide range of health problems. Chronic stress weakens the immune system, making us more susceptible to infections and illnesses. It disrupts sleep patterns, leading to fatigue, irritability, and difficulty concentrating. Long-term stress can also contribute to digestive issues, headaches, muscle tension, and chronic pain. The impact of chronic stress extends to mental health. 
It can worsen anxiety and depression, impair memory and cognitive function, and increase the risk of developing mood disorders. Furthermore, chronic stress can lead to unhealthy coping mechanisms, such as overeating, smoking, or substance abuse. Recognizing the signs of chronic stress is crucial for preventing long-term health consequences. Seeking professional help and adopting stress management techniques can mitigate the negative effects and improve overall well-being. Section 5. Regaining Control Strategies for Stress Management While we can't always eliminate stress from our lives, we can learn to manage it effectively. There are numerous evidence-based strategies that can help us regain control and reduce the negative impact of stress on our minds and bodies. Mindfulness. Practicing mindfulness involves paying attention to the present moment without judgment. Techniques like meditation, deep breathing exercises, and yoga can help calm the mind, reduce anxiety, and improve our ability to cope with stress. Exercise. Physical activity is a powerful stress reliever. Exercise releases endorphins, which have mood-boosting effects. It also helps to reduce cortisol levels and improve sleep quality. Healthy diet. A balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean protein provides the nutrients our bodies need to function optimally under stress. Limiting processed foods, caffeine, and alcohol can also help regulate stress hormones. Social support. Connecting with loved ones and building strong social connections can provide emotional support and buffer the negative effects of stress. Talking to a trusted friend, family member, or therapist can help us process stressful emotions and gain perspective. By incorporating these strategies into our daily lives, we can build resilience to stress, improve our overall well-being, and live healthier, happier lives. Fotaki, Section 6, Stress, A Balancing Act. Stress is an inevitable part of life, but it doesn't have to control us. By understanding the science behind stress, and its impact on our brains and bodies, we can take proactive steps to manage it effectively. Remember, not all stress is inherently bad. Short-term stress can be a motivator, pushing us to perform at our best. However, chronic stress can have detrimental effects on our physical and mental health. By incorporating stress management techniques like mindfulness, exercise, healthy eating, and social support into our lives, we can build resilience and mitigate the negative impact of stress. Ultimately, managing stress is about finding a balance that allows us to navigate the challenges of life while maintaining our well-being. By prioritizing self-care and seeking support when needed, we can thrive even in the face of adversity. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more.